Cal State Fullerton to be at home against the Pepperdine Wave. Connor Seabold would be getting his first start as a Titan, and he'd be looking to get his first win as well. Let's pick this one up in the bottom of the second inning. Jared Bravo looks like he wants to steal a bag, and he can with relative ease. Two batters later, it's Tristan Hildebrandt's going to get a little grounder to roll in past the pitcher for an infield hit. The Titans would be set up with runners at first and third for Josh Vargas. And would Josh Vargas deliver? Yes, he would. He would get this one to roll in past the first baseman, and it would score Bravo to put the Titans up 1-0 over Pepperdine. In the bottom of the third, the Titans would get a rally started by David Olmedo Barrera, who's going to single into center, puts himself in good position. Two batters later, it's Jake Jeffries who's going to go to left field and advances Barrera to third base. And Scott Hurst is going to deliver. He's going to send this one into right field, scoring Olmedo Barrera. Well, the scoring wasn't quite over for the Titans just yet. Tyler Steve's going to ground this one to the third baseman, who should have an easy throw, right? Wrong. He's going to put this one past the first baseman. Steve would advance to second on the air. And this is going to set up David Olmedo Barrera, who has a chance to put home another run, and he will. He's going to get the RBI here, puts the Titans up 3-0. That would be all the scoring in this game, but let's take a look at the pitching. Well, the star pitcher of the night had to be Connor Seabold, who had an absolute whale of a game. He got his first start as a Titan, and he looked good. He was striking out batters left and right in his four innings of work. He had six strikeouts on the night, and he only gave up two hits in his entire outing. Here he is getting some love from the teammates after a great performance. Well, Web Gems are also part of this one. Really cool is going to get a nice backhand flip to first base to beat the runner. But later in the same inning, he's going to be outdone by Scott Hurst, who's going to get on his high horse to get this ball, and he's going to make a diving catch out in right field. But Scott Hurst is going to outdo himself in the seventh. He trips, and he's going to somehow regain composure to make the catch, and that is going to be our highlight play of the night. Well, we've seen enough of the web gems, so let's get back to the game. In the top of the ninth inning, Tyler Peitzmeyer is going to come in for the save, but he would get himself into some trouble. Runners at first and third, the tie runs at the plate, but he would ground out to the shortstop, and that would be a double play. It's going to end the game for Pepperdine, and the Titans would get their fourth win in a row. Let's hear what the Titan coaches and players had to say after this game. Uh, just kind of maintain what we've been doing. Uh, we had a good weekend over Baylor. Uh, we want to carry the momentum, just play fundamental baseball. You know, with our pitchers through strikes, most part we played really good D. And we had some good at-bats. We left some guys on base with, uh, you know, runs at third base, less than two outs. But our guys are battling, and that's all we can ask. They're competing, and we like the level they're playing at right now. So we look forward to carrying that over to this weekend versus Texas Tech. Connor did a really good job. Came in, you know, throwing two pitches for strikes, pounding the strike zone with his fastball. Uh, and for me, that was you know, they just setting the tone. And he passed it on to the next guy, and they kept doing it for the four guys that pitched tonight. So uh, how did you feel with your performance tonight? It felt pretty good. Um, I had a good command of uh, three pitches tonight, and I thought I did a pretty good job with them. Um, just try to keep the same thing, just stay on top of the ball, beat their infielders, and try to get your pitch, not chase a lot of stuff. I got away from it a few at bats, but you know, came came through when we needed it, I guess. The Titans pitching staff combines to throw a shutout over Pepperdine here tonight. They get the win 3 to nothing, and this is going to push Cal State Fullerton's win streak to four games. Cal State Fullerton will be playing fifth-ranked Texas Tech here at home at Goodwin Field. From Goodwin Field, I'm Kyle Miller, Titan Sports Recap.